What's up guys? This is Zach from Zach's Hockey Box and today we are back doing some more surprise card openings. I know, right? Big surprise, we're opening hockey cards on Hockey Card Channel, right? Uh, today, again, we are going to kind of continue the little theme here of opening slightly different things uh, other than upper, just upper deck stuff. So today we are going to be looking at two different things. Well, one different thing. The first is a 2018-19 SPX box. Again, they had this on sale also at one of the card sites I go to, so I got one of those going to be opening today. And another one of our 1819 Upper Deck Series 1 tins, still looking for Kak and Yemi and Rasmus Dahlin. The tin, last tin, if you guys watched the video with the clear cut, was just amazing. I don't expect to get anywhere near that good of a tin, considering I pulled five rookie cards out of there, uh, including three young guns, one young gun canvas, and those three, three of those three young guns were all Red Wing players, uh, which again is the perfect tin for someone who's a Red Wings fan who collects Red Wing cards. Um, yes, they suck this year, but still want the gu uh, young guns because again, I think a lot of these young players that the Red Wings have right now definitely can go. Will be, they'll be going somewhere soon? I think. I think the team will rebuild, especially with Eisman leading it. I think he's going to make some good moves and all that fun stuff. So first, we're going to show off the big card that comes in the tin. Kyle Oposo from the Winter Classic in 18. Which again, I do like these cards, these, these big cards. They're, just, they're cool. I don't know if I'll, I don't really collect them all, but I don't mind pulling them. Again, I, I like the tins. I just I just like them. I've been collecting them for a while, and I will continue to get at least... As long as the channels keep going, I will probably get at least two of every tin that comes out. Just because I like having, like... I like to try and get two of everything um, and noticing it gives me it gives you guys and myself a little bit of a feel for how the product is pulling like what you can pull and the odds and all that stuff when you get two of something and you get a little bit better odds than if you pull you know you open one thing so it's kind of just one of those where i'm going to try and get two tins every year we shall see if that continues to be the thing as long as the channel keeps running and you guys keep watching i'll keep trying to do the best i can and bring you guys the newest and latest and some of the old vintage uh, i guess vintage to an extent some of it's i mean this stuff's all from last year i wouldn't consider that vintage but some other stuff than just the brand new stuff we'll, we'll try and delve around and jump around a little bit here and there where we can so i try to cut this box up cutting myself there we go okay be careful those knives out there kids be careful if there's any kids watching <laughs> Okay, open that up, oh, set that. It's a Conor David uh, boxes, huh? Oh, here we go. You guys want to see the sets that came out last year? There you go. Ooh, look at that. All these new sets that we uh, we didn't know that were coming. Yeah, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking we'll, since there's only four packs in here, we'll do like three packs of the Series 1, open a pack, three packs kind of thing, until we get through them all. So let's go ahead and delve into Series 1. Obviously, again, pretty much just want Kak and Yemi and Ravs' Dalian. If I can get those two, I'd be... Again, I'm already more than happy with the set. I pulled everything I really want, because if you guys have watched the videos, it's been out for a little bit now, uh, so I'm sure you have, so that we've already pulled um, Elias St. Pedersen out of the set, along with every single Red Wing rookie. So, yeah, everything I want. First young gun, Maxine Comtois. Okay. Another young gun I did not have, so I will take. Looks like he might be a pretty good young player for that Anaheim Ducks team. We'll take that as well. I've not pulled a lot of, like, bad young guns out of this set. I thought there would be a lot less I'd want. But, man, I've been pulling pretty much all the ones you really want out of the set so far. TJ Brody, Jason Spezza. Obviously not the two big ones, but uh, minus Elias Pedersen. Pierre-Luc Dubois, Martin Jones, Charlie McAvoy, Series 1 Checklist, and Upper Deck Canvas of Jake DeBrusque. Going through the to the tunnel... High five and everybody. But yeah, I mean, again, outside of Dalin and uh, Kak and Yemi, I've pulled pretty much everything. Nothing but hits along the way for this young gun set. So I cannot complain. And I've only opened, I don't think I've actually even opened a single hobby box set of this. So retail's not a bad way to go, guys, if you're looking for the young guns. Michael Delzado, Brian Boyle, Patrick Kane, Thomas Tatar, Brock Presser, Jonas Brodeen, Genny Malkin and our next young gun, uh, Shane Gritch. Gritch. Don't recognize him off the top of my head, so not bad. And still, again, I don't think I had him as a young gun. I'll take it. 
Okay, so that was three packs. So let's get into our first SPX card from last year. Now, I did open up one of these boxes last year. Um, I bought it before I started the channel. Um, and, and it was really good. I got two awesome Matthew cards out of it, which I was super excited about. The two autographs I got were eh. But the two Matthews jersey cards were awesome, so I can't complain about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. Oh, that's super nice. Okay, we got uh, Anteri Panarin. Anti Panarin. Huge, nice, beautiful patch in there with the Columbus Blue Jackets logo in there. The Canon logo? Sorry, it's a little high. That is beautiful, and I love that design. Like the. It's a beautiful card. I, I'm. Super happy with that. Obviously doing an amazing job right now with those uh, New York Rangers, right? Looking like they're going to be something next year. If, unless we get a rest of this year, which it looks like it will maybe in the summertime. A lot of the NHL officials, uh, like higher-ups, are saying most likely June or August we'll get some kind of hockey back to finish out the season. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll get to see what those Rangers can do because they were looking pretty good. But, yeah, it's also number 22 out of 35. But, yeah, that's, that is the patch on the, the shoulder there. That's a beautiful patch right there. I will take that in a second. Okay. Beautiful first hit off of that first SPX pack. Let's get into the next Upper Deck Series 1. Already doing great. Wow, these videos have been getting better and better, guys. I'm pulling better and better. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it. David Backus, Toy Grug, Victor Rask, Johnny Goudreau, Seth Jones, Zach Parise, Jake DeBrusque. This is the Bruin pack, apparently. And a Jake Gensel Upper Deck Portrait. So, Jiggity Jake Gensel Upper Deck Portrait. Next pack here. And I hope you guys are all staying safe and staying sane, as always. Uh, I know this, this hopefully helps some. I know it helps myself being able to go through and open cards and kind of look forward to doing all this stuff with you guys, talking to other people and fans about hockey along the way is always fun. So, thank you guys for... Helping keeping me sane as much as I'm hoping I'm helping keeping you a little sane throughout these fun times right now. Nick Schmoltz, Carey Price, Jory Lotera, Jack Eichel, Series 1 Checklist of Stamkos and Ovechkin, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Matt Niskanen, and Colin Miller. Right, stick those from over there. Right, next pack here. It, it, if I can just get off. There we go. Okay. Last pack, and then we'll get into uh, another SPX here. So, like, we got any hits in this one? Just base. Jonathan Huberdeau, Sean Couturier, Pontus Alberg, Aberg, Jeff Petrie, Zach Smith, Dimitri Yaskin, John Gabriel Pajot, and Jacob Slavin. So there's that. Okay, let's go with our second SPX pack. Let's try and open it a little bit. Let's do that. I usually do it back there because I'm all flood doing this on camera. But uh, let's try and do it on camera. So let's see what it is. So I don't know what it is even. We have a base card of Andreas Janssen. For, uh, or should I say base rookie card. Andreas Janssen. I will take that. Any Toronto Maple Leaf rookie, I will take. The black uh, lustrous rookie card. There's a dual kind of like the black border in there. Again, this, this year's SPX has been brutal to me. I've opened a box and one pack got nothing <laughs> uh this this one from last year did pretty good I, I do like this one so maybe i'll pick another box we'll see let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to get another box of this to open it for you guys uh this is number 235 out of 299 that rainbow was just so nice so set that down all right so that's our second spx patch out of four not gonna lie that uh oops bumping the camera bumping the camera wouldn't be a see what Zach, or Zach's hockey box video without me bumping the camera. This pack is really thick. I wonder if that's one of our uh, one of those uh, shadow box cards. I wonder. I did get a shadow box card in the last box. I got of this too. It was of uh, oh my god, Henry Ryuki or whatever. I can't pronounce his name ever. I'm sorry. He he got traded over to the Buffalo Sabers from the Blackhawks for Alexander Nylander, defenseman. I'm blanking on how to pronounce his name, but yeah, I got his shadow box rookie card. Those shadow box cards are really nice. Chris Letang, Mark Andre Fleury, Evander Kane, Eric Stahl, Nick Backstrom, Ryan McDonough, Craig Anderson, and a rookie comment comments 
of Elias Anderson. It's Elias Anderson, guys. Follow me around now. Got uh, this one. I got his portraits. I got his young gun. Got uh, the clear cut that we opened in the last video of his autograph. <laughs> Something's telling me he's probably not going to make it very far because... Uh, I did the same thing with Jimmy VC when Jimmy VC was supposed to be like the hot stud that's coming up in the NHL. Uh, I got every single card I seen to pull was a Jimmy VC autograph or jersey card or something. I was like, oh, the, cool, this is supposed to be a really good kid. It's supposed to be really great. They didn't quite live up to the hype, and now I have all these Jimmy VC cards that aren't worth anything. I mean, they're still cool, like the one with the patch that I've shown on Instagram. If you guys follow us on Instagram, you'd see it. Um was really cool. Oh, uh, we did have a hit. I missed it. Upper deck canvas of Cam Atkinson for the Columbus Blue Jackets. But, um, yeah, so I do like some of the Jimmy BC cars I got, but, yeah, they're not really worth all that much, honestly. So, like, if you're looking at, like, like, I got one um, from Artifacts right here that I was like, eh, I don't really need this because I already have, like, the, the, um, the really nice patch one from one of the, the letters on his, uh, numbers on his shoulder. I was going to try and sell off that one if somebody, if it was worth anything, and it wasn't. So now I'm sitting on it still. But, you know, it happens. Again, that's why I don't collect cards for money. You collect them for the hobby and the, the thrill of the hunt. And our hit is a Shooting Stars of Patrick Kane. I think that was three. You know, we'll open up one more pack. Why not? Why not? Oh, another three more packs. We'll leave that. We'll leave that alone. So we'll go with this. We'll go. With, we'll save the thick pack, the big, the big boy pack, uh, for last. I'm going to try and do this the way most people do them, so I'm surprised just as much as you are. Okay, let's see what this is. Should be, I'm hoping, an autograph. Nope. Uh, it is a rookie. I guess it's a base rookie. I don't really know. Um, this is not one of those sets I know a ton about. I guess that's the luxurious one was the last one. Or lustrous, should I say. The black lustrous. So I guess this is the base rookie for the set. Uh, which is not a bad one. Just uh, Kakinemi. I think he'll have a bounce back here. I, I do think he'll have a bounce back here for the Montreal Canadiens. I think he'll definitely be one of the high-profile young players for this Montreal team as they make a, another run at pushing for the playoffs soon. This one is numbered 83 out of 349. So that is that card. So hopefully that last one is a nice autograph, rookie portrait, or, or shadow box, something like that. But we'll find out at the three more packs from Upper Deck Series 1. I don't know where I'm going to open the third tin. I'll see when I get a, another, like, smaller opening like these. Or the clear cut. If I get another box clear cut, maybe I'll get another one open it with that. We'll see. But that's uh, probably when I'll open up the last tin. Anze Kopitar, Justin Schultz, Eric Kala, and up deck portrait of Dustin Bufflin. Ooh. I don't know if that's... They try to spray tan him or what there. That that does not look good. Like, or should I say not spray tan, but, like, like do some... Some uh, Photoshop on him because that ooh, that looks really bad. But anyways, upper uh, deck can't, a portrait of Dustin Bufflin. All right, two more packs in, and we'll get into our last SPX pack. I'm trying to go a little bit quicker on these ones. I'm try to keep these relatively down, shorter videos. Devin Dubnik, Romus Romyosi, Travis Hamnick, Vladimir Tarasenko, Mika Koivu, Connor McDavid, Frederick Anderson, and our young gun. Luke Johnson for the Chicago Blackhawks, which I don't recognize. I don't know if he's still playing or not. So not as many young guns I don't think out of this tin. This is not as good of a tin as that first one, but honestly, this is more along the lines of what I would expect from a tin. Uh, that last tin was just awesome. So can't complain if this tin's a little lackluster in that respect. Uh, Samuel Gerard, Connor Hellebuck, Mark Stone, Steven Stamkos, Nolan Patrick, Cam Fowler, Will Butcher, and Sonny Milano. All right, guys, it is time to get into this last pack of SPX. Yeah, this is a thick, you guys can see that. That's a thick pack. So, do that. Be surprised, be surprised. Ooh, yeah, I don't know what this is going to be, but all right. Try not to slide too much against the card. And... Uh, Spencer Fu autograph. Uh, Spencer Fu, uh, love the name. Not gonna lie, kind of happy about that just because of the fact that it's just a fun name. I can barely even see that autograph on there. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it pretty good on there. Okay, 
Uh, but yeah, uh, black lustrous rookie card, uh, Spencer Fu. Just, I do like that thick black cardboard in there. All right, so that is our autograph. I wouldn't say that's an amazing SPX box. Uh, again, the last one I know I got two autographs, but then again, it is a, a rookie autograph, so I guess I can't complain about that. And that Panarin card was just beautiful. But here's, we're going to go through the hits real quick. So we got the Spencer Fu autograph. I'll go through the SPX ones, or the... The series one set first. Luke Johnson, Young Gun, Portrait of Dustin Bufflin with a horrible spray tan. Patrick Kane, Shooting Star, Canvas of Kim Atkinson. Ricky Comments of Lias Anderson. Portrait of Jake Gensel. Young Gun of Shane Gurich. Upper Deck Canvas of Jake DeBrusque. And a Young Gun of Maxine Comtois, which again is really nice to pull. I'm glad I got that one. And then our, our hits from the SPX. Uh, so we got our Jasperi Kakanyemi, numbered 83 out of 349. Andreas Janssen, Black Lustrous, at 239, 235 out of 299. Just, yeah, I do like that. And our amazing interior Panarin shoulder patch there, which you can actually see the blue jacket, like the blue from the blue jackets right there. It's just a beautiful card. Numbered 22 out of 35, which, yeah, radiant materials. That's, that's, those are the cards you want to pull out of these boxes, is this type of card. <laughs> it's it's almost worth it. Yeah, the, the autograph isn't the the best young like rookie autograph you can get, but this this patch is just a beautiful patch. So, anyways, yeah, that is our our pulls for the day, our video for the day. Uh that is a SPX 2018-19 and 18-19 upper deck series one Tim. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As always, stay safe out there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed making these for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy watching it. It helps take your mind off a few things. Anyways, this is Zach from Zach's Hockey Box, and I will open for you guys again very soon.